Shit. What God damn it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Okay. Oh, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I that noise. You sounded like Linda from Bob's Burgers. Huh? <laughs> 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 Just kidding. Bob is so stuffed. <laughs> kind of like a cleansing breath. <laughs> section. Uh, today we're going to be doing the intimidating TBR tag and we were tagged by Lulo Fangirl so thank you very yes. much for tagging us. This is going to be fun and we're going to link her video below yes. as well. Um, we are drinking pecan from Main Street Brewing Company. You say pecan weird. Pecan? You say it like, a, <laughs> you say it like you're the southerner. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, did you say the brewery Main Street? Yes, Main Street Brewing Company. Forty two oh two is that a thing? Forty two oh four. God damn numbers. it! <laughs> no, <laughs> things are hard today. Uh, things are so hard today. <laughs> I'm having a little hair of the dog right now. <laughs> yes, Ooh, I'm hungover. Oh. So the first question is, what book have you been unable to finish? I have been unable to finish Dracula by Bram Stoker because I misplaced it while I was reading it and I just found it under my bed like a couple days ago. So now I can finish it. Yeah! Woo! And it wasn't because I didn't like it or anything. I was liking it. <laughs> but I only got like 39 pages into it so I wasn't, you know, invested yet. So I, I didn't just... try that hard. Why are you giggling so much? <laughs> I just imagine Sue like reading, she's reading and she goes, Fuck this book! <laughs> she walks in her bedroom and shoves it under her bed. <laughs> this one, I chose Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I don't have a physical copy, it's on my Kindle. Um, I started this book, I got like, I had like 20 or 30 percent of the way into it and then just like kind of got burnt out on it because it's from like, there's two different like storylines or perspectives and one of them I give no fucks about. Like, not even half of a fuck. I just don't care. And the other one is really interesting, but like, while I'm reading the in-between chapters of the one that I think is interesting, I'm like, Jesus Christ, like, can we just hurry this up? I don't want to do this. And so I just kind of got burnt out on it. The next question is, what book have you yet to read because you just haven't had the time? I chose uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey because Sue and I have been meaning to read this for a while. Uh, we've talked about reading it for a while. And I just haven't had the time to do it yet. Yeah, We've been the things. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so I really, really want to get to that one. I think it would be really cool, but yeah. And I chose Gumption by Nick Offerman. Uh, my friend, our sweet little Nathan friend. Oh, sweet little Nathan friend. <laughs> my brother from another mother. Uh, let me borrow this book because he knows that I love me some Nick Offerman. <laughs> just look at that. Look at that Ruffly, manly handsome man beast. Mm. Uh, and I have read his other book, uh, Paddle Your Own Canoe, which I also borrowed from Nathan. <laughs> which I currently have, thank you And, uh, <laughs> it was pretty good. I really liked it, so, uh, I, I would definitely like to read this one, but I just haven't got around to it yet, because I have so many other books to read. Yes. So many books, so I'm little so time. Many. I'm so little time. Alright, so what book have you yet to read because it's a sequel? I chose World War Moo by Le Michael Logan. I, I, I haven't read it, not really because it's a sequel, because I have read the first book. Yeah. I just, um, I don't know, series are rough for me sometimes. I just, I don't know. It's a lot of commitment. Yeah, it's a lot of commitment, and I'm not sure if there's a third book. I guess I'll see, but, and I really, really enjoyed Apocalypse Cow, but I still just am like, uh -huh. series just aren't a real motivating for me sometimes, yeah. so... I don't know. Yeah. So, <clears throat> the book I chose is not a sequel, but it does begin a new series, and I'm always a little bit cautious about beginning a new series, because then I feel like I have to see it through to the end. Mm -hmm. um, and so I chose Dawn by Octavia Butler, which you actually recommended to me, and I think we'll be well, I haven't read it yet either. <laughs> well, you've talked about her before, Octavia yeah. Butler. So, and I think the book will be really good. It's just the beginning of a new series, and I'm like, I got so much other stuff I want to read. Do I really want to start a series now? Yeah. 
So. I feel the same way about the series. Fourth question is what book have you yet to read because it's brand new. Um, I chose a book that has not been uh, released yet, so I haven't read it because it just hasn't come out yet. Um, it has a tentative release date of May 16th. Um, it's called The Fireman by Joe Hill, and it's about an ec epidemic that sweeps the country, and it, I guess, causes people to turn, like, their skin to turn, like, black and gold, but then they burst into flame. Ooh. So it sounds super interesting. It just hasn't come out yet. And I chose uh, Dubliners or any book that we just hauled in our, in our video yesterday. Giant ass. All the newest books I own, even though they're <sighs> definitely not new books. No. But yeah, so I just picked a random one, and it was Dubliners by James Joyce. There we go. So there it is. All right, so what book have you yet to read because you read a book by the same author and didn't enjoy it? I really didn't have an answer for this one. I don't think I have any books. I don't own any books. I don't have any on my TBR that I know of that are by authors that I didn't like because if I didn't like it, I'm probably I'm not going to read anything else. Put it on my TBR, yeah. Although I will say I didn't <laughs> like Paper Towns by John Green, but I do plan on reading another John Green book. But okay. I did like Fault in Our Stars. Right, so he's so like... So it's like he's on the fence there. Right. Fitty fitty. Yeah. Fitty fitty. Fitty fitty. Um, I chose <clears throat> Winter by Marissa Meyer because the more I read the series, like the more frustrated I guess I get with it or the more like ugh, I feel about reading it and I read um we both just read um Fairest which is like Queen Lavana's backstory and that book just made me want to say fuck it on the series because yeah that book sucked but oof. I still really like the series and I'm excited to read Winter I haven't yeah. gotten it yet because I want to buy it in the paperback edition <laughs> so it matches all your other so ones. it matches my other ones yeah but um I'm still, I still really like the series, and I, um, I really want to finish it, but Fairest was a shitty book. <laughs> I just think it was, like, <clears throat> such a cool concept that she had for the series, and I think that she just didn't execute it well. Like, the more books I read in the series, I'm like, you had such potential to be unique and to take this, like, a new place, and yeah. it's just, like, formulaic YA. And I think that you probably <clears throat> recognize that more than I do, mm -hmm. because I haven't read like, because right. you've read The Hunger Games yeah. and Divergent, right? Yeah. And I haven't read either of those, so I don't really recognize those tropes, Right. I think. So to me, it does seem <laughs> new and cool. <laughs> the concepts are really awesome, but yeah, just, well, yeah, not happy with the way it was executed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next question is, what book have you yet to read because you're just not in the mood for it? I chose... <clears throat> Wizard, The Life and Times of Nikola Tesla, Biography of a Genius, by Mark Seifer. Um, I love Nikola Tesla. I think he's amazing. Um, I started reading this book. I didn't make it super far in. Uh, I started this, and it's just very... Mark Seifer is, like, really heavy on the tedious details, and I have to be in a very specific mood to be able to, like, hang with that. Um... My brain is really squirrely anyway and goes in like 97 different directions at the same time, so I get a little bit overwhelmed with all of those extraneous details, which I'm sure he didn't feel like were extraneous because otherwise he probably wouldn't have put them in here, but um, I'm excited to read this because like I said, I love Nikola Tesla. He is my favorite scientist, but goddamn. And I chose the book Spin by Robert Charles Wilson. This is a sci-fi book. And it's supposed to be really good. It's a Hugo Award winner. And it's about, I think it's about, um, like, these three adolescents, it says, who witness the erection of, like, a, a shield around them. It kind of reminded me almost of Under the Dome. Mm, don't read that, by it's the way. Explanate, which I haven't read <laughs> Under the don't Dome. Read that. But the, it kind of, which I'm pretty sure this existed before Under the, Under Dome. the Dome. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I've owned this book for a really long time, several years, I think, <laughs> and I don't know, I've just never, I think part of it is that I believe it is the first in a series, okay. and I'm always Period. reluctant to start a series, so I think that's the main reason that I haven't really picked it up. 
I think it's a series. Now it's looking like maybe it isn't, but hmm. I don't know. For some ah. reason, I just haven't felt like reading it. So there you go. So there you go. What book have you yet to read because it's humongous? And I picked Vanity Fair by William Thackeray. Thackeray? 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 I don't know. Uh, this book's like 800 pages long. So, yeah, it's pretty intimidating. A little bit. <clears throat> um, I actually chose the book that our book club just selected um, for our next read. Yeah. Um, it's called A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. It's 720 pages long, which is a little bit long for a book club read, but it does look like it's going to be really good. So. Yeah. Yeah, and I've heard people talk about Hani Yanagihara a lot on booktube, so hmm. he's a pretty popular author. Cool. I'm excited about it. It looks good. What book have you yet to read because it was a cover buy that turned out to have poor reviews? Um, for this one, again, I took kind of an around the, the way answer to this because this book didn't necessarily get poor reviews, but um, Girl Factory by... Jim Crusoe. I just bought this, but <clears throat> it didn't really have poor reviews. It just had reviews that were different than what I thought it would have. Mm -hmm. There were very, very few people who five-starred it. Um, and I kind of thought it would have more five-star reviews because it seems like a niche read. Like you pick this up because you, you like weird, mm -hmm. you know, off-color off books. And so I figured it would have more people who like loved it, and it didn't really. So... Um, I chose the book. This one doesn't quite fit the question either because I usually, unless it's a thing where I'm like browsing a used bookstore or something, I usually will look up reviews for mm -hmm. books before I buy them, even if it is kind of a cover buy. Right. Um, so I did look up the reviews on this. Ooh, did I just spit on it? Did. At least it's your bodily fluids, whereas with the books we just bought, I don't really know whose yeah. fluids are on them. <laughs> True. Ah. But uh, this <clears throat> book I was definitely a cover by. It's The Possibilities by Cowie Hart Hemmings. Like, look how gorgeous it's the cover is. It's beautiful. Stunning. Uh, but it's just really not a book that I would have would have picked up. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it doesn't. It's about like a grieving family, which isn't something I generally would read. And the reviews were not bad, mm -hmm. but they were kind of mediocre, I guess. Like, it was had an average of, like, three, three point something. Okay. Which isn't bad, but... No, and that's what Girl Factory had, too. It was, like, 3.34, I think, was the average rating, but... Yeah. On Goodreads. On Goodreads. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the most intimidating book in your TBR pile? I picked Dune by Frank... Herbert. Uh, I don't know why this intimidates me so much. I mean, it is a huge... Well, I mean, this book's... This edition is like 500 pages. Oh, seems which isn't bad, but I think they're like smaller editions or, you know, oh. it depends on what edition you have. But, uh, I don't know. This just kind of intimidates me because... I think because it's like so quintessential to, like, sci-fi. When I'm like, like what if I eat it? Yeah. So, you can put it under your bed and just about it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck this Dune. book. Dune. So, yeah, that one intimidates me. Um, I chose Wizard for this one. Uh, I'm very intimidated by this book, but I really want to read it. So, and I'm sure that I will enjoy it and it will be really cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm a little intimidated. So. All right, and the last question is who do you tag? We tag. We chose two people to tag, so we tagged Read Jen Read, and we also tag Rebel Reads. Yes. So we'd love to see you two ladies do this tag. Hell yeah. Let's All see right. you do it. And now, let us talk about this beer. Let us discuss. Pecan. <laughs> Pecan. <laughs> we say things weird where I'm from. Um, <laughs> it's it's alright. Yeah, it's a brown ale brewed with pecans. And, yeah, it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of brown ales in general. They're okay, but they're not my favorite. But um, this is decent. Mm -hmm. It kind of has a sweetness to it, like a pecan pie. It does. It does. So if you like pecan pie, you and might brown enjoy ales. This. Yeah. yeah. And I do like brown ales. This one's just a little bit, it's unique. Yeah. But it's not bad. I think it kind of, I'm liking it more as I drink it. Me too. 
Yep. Yeah, but this brewing company, where is it? Illinois? Illinois, yeah. Belleville, Illinois. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's the beer. Um, <clears throat> so we will, as per usual, post some links down below where you can find us on social media. Yep, and thank you everyone for watching. Yes. And we'll see you next time. Yes. Bye. Bye.